This video is brought to you by Sailrite. In this video we're going to be showing you how to do fine-tune adjustment to the MCSER power system for sewing machines that's exclusively sold through Sailrite. I'm Matt Grant from Sailrite and what we're looking at is the MCSCR control box um, and I want to show you how to make uh, pot adjustments to the control box in order to uh, adjust the uh, feel of your foot pedal uh, and the power and responsiveness of the motor. Uh, on the control box there are four screws Oops. now there are three screws, no, okay, I'll find it, four screws, there's one, two, three, four that must be removed. And before you remove these you obviously want to unplug the control box which I have already done. Slide the top of the box off and here's why we want it unplugged because now we're into things that can zap you and what you want to look at on the control box these are the pots this one is clearly labeled decel for deceleration this one's labeled XL for acceleration this one is labeled max for maximum speed and under all of these wires where I'm putting my screwdriver there's another one that's labeled min for minimum speed those are the four pots uh, that you want to be concerned with. Now turning them clockwise and counterclockwise has a lot to do with uh, the control of the machine. Counterclockwise will decrease whatever variable it is and clockwise will increase it. So uh, let's start with where we are. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something I don't want you to do and that's I'm going to leave it open and I'm going to plug it in just so that you, we can see where we are right now. All right, so before we make any pot adjustments, what we want to do is we want to see where we are right now. And you'll notice we've got good slow speed control. And we don't run super fast, but reasonable speed. Now, I want to show you a few things on the pot adjustments. And we're going to unplug our controller. And once we've got it unplugged, now we can come back with our screwdriver, a small flat blade screwdriver. And let's first play with the acceleration. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this clockwise and what this is going to do is this is going to slow down the acceleration rate. So you'll notice I'm going to press the pedal all the way down and watch it. It'll take it a while to ramp up. It's all the way down. So if you want to deaden the reaction speed, that's how you would do that. I typically don't think that's a good idea. So we typically want that set just at about... Uh, Oh, what would that be, 11 o'clock or so. And uh, now we'll plug back in again and test that, and we should be back where we were. Okay, there we are. And that's about right. So notice when I, when I floor it, it's not going to take off immediately on me, but it's pretty quick. Okay? So that's why we set that one at 11 o'clock. Let's unplug again and make another adjustment. Now let's see what deceleration does. So I'm going to turn this. Notice this one's at about 12 o'clock to begin with. I'm going to turn it all the way clockwise. Plug in, and now we're getting a little. This one's not going to have a huge impact, but what it's going to do is it's going to change the deceleration rate. So let me let me go the opposite direction here. Actually, I don't play with this one enough to really know exactly what it's going to do. I just want to show you you can play with it. So we're all the way back to zero. All right, that one I don't even think is going to be noticeable during sewing. Maybe when we unhook the motor, if you play with that one, you'll find some change. We're going to leave it where we always set them, which is about 12 o'clock, and call it a day on that. Now, probably the two biggest ones would be the min, or the min over here, and the maximum for sewing speed. So we, we said before we want to turn up the speed on this machine. So I'm going to turn this pot clockwise all the way, and what we're going to notice now is that we'll, we'll run faster. It should be very obvious. So if I don't like running that fast, unplug the unit, come back to make the adjustment, and I'm going to turn it way down. Watch this. Now here's my maximum speed. Pretty slick adjustments. You've got lots of variable speed control there. So if you're the type of person that wants to go fast or really slow, never wants to go fast, and you, you can control all of that. Uh, our normal setting for this is at about... Oh, 1, 2 o'clock or so. And that's going to leave us again after we plug in. 
Yeah, a little, that's a little slower than normal. So let's say it's about two or three o'clock would be our normal setting. Okay. So let's tweak that. In this particular case, we know Deb wants to go faster. So we're going to come in here about like that. Okay. And let me just plug in and check. Yeah, that looks good. Now, if I want the minimum speed to be really slow, this is your fine tuning for how slow you can go, you turn it counterclockwise. Now we've got it turned all the way counterclockwise, which is what I recommend. By doing that, that's what gives us that. I'm gonna lift up the foot control so I can I can really fine tune adjust it. That's what gives us that ability to, you know, just very whoops, very slowly get the slow speed control out of the foot pedal. Now if it jumps on you, remember that that accelerate is making a difference there too. So if you really want to fine tune the slow speed control, what you need to think in terms of is also setting the maximum speed a bit slower. So if I unplug it, turn the maximum down quite a bit, and then also leave the minimum down all the way. Now when I plug in, I can really get that foot control to do very fine slow speed sewing but I lose a little bit in the top end speed. For our particular application, I can't really imagine why you'd want to change the min from anything less than all, or more than all the way counterclockwise. Turning that up just will deaden your slow speed startup. Plug it in and watch what we get. So I can't get that creeper slow speed anymore because my min's no longer where it should be. Now if I unplug, come back, and go all the way back to counterclockwise all the way, now I'm back to, after we plug in, okay. So all four of them have a little bit to do with one another. You just got to keep in mind what your requirements are. Uh, but if you really want the best slow speed control, turn your men all the way counterclockwise, and then decrease your your maximum speed as well. That's going to give you the best slow speed control. And uh, you can play with all four of those and, and fine tune it to exactly where you want it. Thanks for watching. Obviously this video is for owners of the MCSCR power system, but if you don't own an MCSCR power system, you may want to consider adding this to your sewing machine for ultimate slow speed control and power.